Hey guys, it's Utah. So, this is what happened. Are you familiar with this person? His name is Yoshiro Mori. He's a pretty prominent figure in Japan, and he once was our prime minister in 2000 and 2001. And now he's the president of Tokyo Olympics Organizing Committee. He's been on the news for the past week because he made a sexist remark when he was discussing increasing the number of female directors in the organization. He said, This is difficult to handle because of the TV, but the Ministry of Education is annoyingly persistent about choosing a female director. For boards with many women, the board meetings take a long time. Women have a strong sense of competition. If one person raises their hand, all of the others feel they have to raise their hands too. So everyone speaks. What they say is not related to what was said before. And this caused very strong reactions on social media. This person said, I've been wondering for a long time why this person is even there. Another person said, I've seen some tweets saying, so many people are criticizing Yoshiro Mori without reading the full transcript. But don't worry. I've read the entire thing and it's absolutely terrible. And some people understandably said it's not just him. Yoshiro Mori's prominence in Japan is the reason why this fiasco has become such a hot topic. And hopefully, this will lead to a greater awareness that his views are microcosmic of what's happening everywhere in Japan. It will be nice if this gives us a chance for improvements to be made in the different spheres of life in Japan. I noticed that several hashtags were trending at the time, and one of them was Please retire, Yoshiro Mori. This tweet said, I'm so sick and tired of this. And this person talked about the glass ceiling. I doubt the glass ceiling will ever go away as long as this man is in a position of power. Isn't the world he's living in a little too different from ours? And many people think that it's important for us to speak out to show the world that we are not okay with this. Chairman Mori's views violate the very spirit of the Olympics. If he doesn't retract his words and resign, the Olympics will never be a success. We need to show the world that people of Japan will not tolerate this attitude. And one of the hashtags that I found interesting was national embarrassment. Many people feel that it's shameful that we have somebody like him in Japan. This person said, Seriously, he needs to realize that he's saying things that are embarrassing from the perspectives of others around the world as well. And when he held a conference to supposedly apologize, many people didn't think he was actually apologizing because of his attitude. This person said, Public apology? But he hasn't apologized. Hashtag national embarrassment. But one of the important things I realized about this controversy is that it was an actual controversy. I've talked about some gender-related issues with Kizunai, who is a Japanese virtual YouTuber, and Uzaki-chan, who is an anime girl. But with these cases, people who were protesting were in the minority. Most people on social media were okay with these things and defending them. But this one is very different. The vast majority of the reactions were very negative and very few people were defending them. As far as the internet is concerned, it seems like Japanese people are almost unanimously against this. I think it's partly, but certainly not entirely because he's a pretty unpopular person in Japan. He has a history of making inappropriate remarks and has been criticized over and over again, including the time when he was our prime minister. In fact, his approval rate was less than 10% at one point, which was one of the lowest in history. But I also feel like more people are interested in gender issues in Japan compared to like three years ago. Having said that, I could find some people who are sort of defending him. For instance, some people were saying that the media took his remark out of context. The thing is, the news has cherry-picked certain parts of what he had said. Some people say that women talk too much, but the women on our organizing committee are succinct and get to the point. That's very helpful, except that's the main idea behind his words. But in view of everything Morrison had said so far, the best solution is for him to resign.
But interestingly, I found many people who read the entire transcript and said it's still bad. As this person said, the full transcript was even worse than the headlines published by the news outlets. And if you are curious, just pause this video and read the transcript. But another common defense was that he's suitable for his role considering his connections. This person said, Everyone who wants to criticize Mr. Yoshiro Mori should do so only after taking into account the economic impact of the Rugby World Cup. And yet another defensive reaction was that people are overreacting. Do the people of Japan want to turn Japan into a society where someone is condemned simply for saying that women are talkative? But those who were sort of defending him weren't saying that women talk too much. They were more like, oh, that wasn't his intention. Now, there's a word that he used, which is wakimaeru. Wakimaeru means something like to distinguish, as in right from wrong, or to understand or to know, as in reason or manners. This word is often used in a phrase like tachiba wa wakimaeru, to know one's place, and some people associate this word with the idea that women should know their place. This created a hashtag, wakimaenai onna, women who don't wakimaeru, and many people expressed their views. This person said, I don't think it's really about who's at fault anymore. Rather, it has to do with the issues with Japan's outdated way of thinking and outdated organizational and management methods. And another person shares her experience saying, As someone in her 50s who had worked in the management of a corporate organization dominated by men, we were able to stop serving tea and conduct regular meetings for female employees at all our branches. But I'll never forget the look on the president's face when he laughed scornfully and said, women have a strong sense of self-righteousness and it's hard to do things with them. And this person said that this is the kind of thing that should cause public outrage. As Altesia san said, this deserves the flack it's getting. Although I have nothing but anger at what Yoshiro Mori had said, I believe the fact that we can now be aware of our anger and express it in this way is a sign that we are finally ready to transition into a better society. This hashtag also created a YouTube video where different Japanese women express their opinions regarding this issue, which I find interesting. But there's a problem. Everything they say is in Japanese. So if you want to understand social issues of Japan, you need to learn Japanese. And if you want to learn Japanese with me, I will teach you the kind of Japanese that real life Japanese people today actually speak, which can be different from the kind of Japanese that textbooks teach you. So click the link and subscribe to my email group, Japanese with Yuta. Alright, see you guys soon. Ciao, ciao.